Genesis, and today I am back at it again with another video for you guys. So thank you guys for the 400 plus subscribers. I really appreciate it and love you all so much. I will be announcing the giveaway winner on July 11th, 2019. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> so turn on your post notifications for that video. Did you guys like, like my last video that I did with me doing ASMR? I think it was pretty good. Should I do more? Pause this video and comment down below if I should do more ASMR videos. And one last thing, you guys. If you haven't already, make sure you like this video, or well, like all my videos, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications so you get notified every single time I post a brand new video. And once you've done that, comment down below. Hashtag... I did it. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Okay you guys, I have this big, ginormous storage thing that I store all my slime stuff and slime supplies in. And I'm going to also be telling you guys the slimes that I own. So yeah, so here's the first slime. It's um a small one and it is called, it is called Purple Rose because it's purple. And some of these slimes I haven't touched in like a year, so this is one of them. So it's not only gonna be experience for you, but also for me. I, ow. I need the activator just in case. And I keep my activator in this giant thing that um, it used to be Nickelodeon slime activator, but then I added in my own. Okay guys, so here's the slime. It is really sticky. But I expected it to be like that since it's, it is when you Let's pretend that didn't happen. Since it is one year old, I just added in some activator into it. I'm going to take it out. But here it is. It is a tad bit sticky still. But it's still pretty darn good. It just needs some kneading and activating stuff. But as I said, I haven't touched a lot of these slimes for a while. Well, not a lot of them, but for some of them in a long time. And just letting you know, I have about, about 30 slimes, about. But I have um, some that are like my top favorite. So this is like one of them. This slime, I don't know what type it is because people say that, oh, when you add cornstarch into slime, it's cream cheese slime. No, when you add in cornstarch into slime, it's a butter slime. So I'm so confused, so I'm just, I mean, yeah, cream cheese slime. So I'm so confused, so I'm just going to call it cream butter. It's a cream butter slime. If you're wondering who made that, I did. Yeah, let's move on to the next slime. Okay guys, so the other slimes that I have, they are all in here. I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 slimes in here out of 17 storages in here. So I'm going to start off, start off with this one. So this one, it's weird because Let's move that out. I tried making a cloud slime for this slime, but this is like my first attempt on trying a cloud slime. And I had added in too much water in the instant snow, so it turned out like this. As you guys can see, it's not that good, but it does stretch. You, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but like it sounds satisfying. Might want to put on headphones. It sounds so cool. It sounds like um something sizzling. That's what this sounds like. But other than that, it's a really nice slime. And it's white. And I call it jelly slime. I don't know if that's a, a type of slime. But I call it jelly slime because it's like a jelly slime. It, it's like it has jelly or jello inside of it. And it reminds me of jelly. 
So that's that one. So on to the next one. Okay guys, so here's the next one. A lot of you guys are probably wondering, Genesis, what type of slime is that? This is slime, don't worry. Um, it, it was a jelly cube slime, but um, what I did was I added in glitters. I don't know if you can see it, but there's like holographic stars and stuff. But that is a slime, you guys. I really like it. And it is has a really nice texture, a fun texture, and it pokes really good. Like, listen to this. Oh, I'm sorry, don't mind my nails. I do have like a biting problem. <laughs> so don't mind them. I bite them a lot. And they're like clear because um, I put on this bite no more nail polish. If you have a biting problem, then you know what it is probably. <laughs> but I have a big problem. Okay, but on to the next one. The next one that I have, you guys, it is just a regular jelly cube slime. I am a little bit sad about this slime because I did use clear glue for this one, and then I did add in some lotion, and I thought it would still be clear, but it isn't. It's Well, it kind of is, but it's not that clear. And then it has these little jelly cubes inside of it, they're so tiny. I need to listen to this. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it sounds satisfying. But yeah, that is that slime. I really like it. Well, let's try to do some ASMR with it. Let's try to poke it. I mean, it kind of works. Okay, you guys, that one's sticky. On to the next one. So, next one that I have, it is like, I don't even know how to describe the color because it looks brown, but then it also looks purple. Let's go with purple. So, this is a purple slime. And, oh, I forgot to tell you guys the names. So, this white one that I was playing with, this one, that one, it's called Jelly Marshmallow. This one, it's called Crunch Fun. <laughs> and don't mind, don't, I know you're probably cringing right now because the names are so cringy, but, sorry. And then this one is Jello Mellow. Wow. <laughs> I'm cringing at myself. Yeah, that's a slime. Ooh, that could have made a big bubble. Hold up. Let's try that again. Oh, let's try to make a big one. Like a big boy. A bee boy. Okay, we're gonna need to move that back. Come on, be mellow slime. Oh! That was big. Maybe I could try to do a tiny one. Oh, it's tiny. Okay, well it makes good bubbles. Now let's see if it pokes. And this one, it's called Galaxy. Okay guys, so this next one, it is, I like to call it Jello Berry because it's another Jello jelly slime. Just like the um, white one. A lot, of, all, pretty much all of my jelly slimes, they have the word Jello or jelly inside of them. So yeah, yeah, that's this slime, and I really like it, and it's nice and stretchy. Let's try it again. It's nice and stretchy. There we go. And let's see if it makes good bubbles and if it crunches. That was a good bubble. Now, you guys, let's see if it crunches. Yep, it crunches pretty good. On to the next one. Well, the next one that we have, I like to call it, well, I like to call it creamy bubblegum because this one I know for sure that it is a cream cheese slime since I put a lot of cornstarch inside of it. But yeah. 
I like to call it creamy bubblegum because it's the color of bubblegum and it is nice and creamy. So why not put them together? So creamy bubblegum. Creamy bubblegum. <laughs> yeah, that is that slime, guys. It is really nice and stretchy. Let's try to make a swirl because we haven't tried that yet. Well, if this even makes one. This is too sticky. Hold up, we need some activator. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna add it in a bit too much. Oopsie. No, oh, no, that's not even enough. Comment down below, you guys, if you guys are part of the slime community. Hey okay, guys, so now let's go on to the next one. Hold up, we need to try the slime swirl. Oh, look at that, it worked. Now, let's move on to the next one. The next one, it is kind of a cream cheese slime. And it has um, some stars. I don't really like this line because it is really painful. Because these stars are like pointy. And every single time I go to crunch it, stuff, or stretch it, and poke it, it always goes on my fingers and it hurts. Yeah, that's that slime. I don't really like it. So let's put it away. So the next slime that I have, you guys, it is just a plain normal slime. And it is like a bluish purplish kind of, or every color you would like to say that it is. But I really like it. It's really nice and crunchy and amazing and stretchy. So let's do a swirl. Yeah, that worked. So now, you guys, let's move on to the next slime. So here is the next slime. It is the same slime as the one that I was just playing with. The slime on my arm. But yeah, it is the same slime that I was just playing with. Just a little bit more runny. But yeah, it is nice and stretchy. And yeah, let's just move on to the next slime. And we have four more slimes to go. The next slime that I'm going to show you guys it is a cloud slime. And this one, I like to call it a strawberry bubblegum. Because it looks exactly like bubblegum. Okay guys, so I want you guys to do a color difference. Look at the color right now, and I'm going to show you guys in a bit when I keep doing this, and you'll see it. The slime turns like, it turns whiter. <laughs> it's weird. It's like if I keep doing this, just by me doing this, it changes color. If you can't see it, I'm sorry, my lighting is a little off today, but it is really lighter. It's almost white. But yeah, that is that slime. It doesn't really drizzle a lot, but it's really nice. It pokes really good and makes bubbles really good. And on top of that, it's clear. Next one is the biggest slime that I have in here. Not the biggest slime that I have had, no. Well, actually you guys, the biggest slime I have ever made or had is the slime video that I did of the making two gallons of food worth of slime. So click that eye up here so you guys can watch that video. Yeah, I'm going to stop playing with this slime because if I don't, then it's just going to inflate and it probably already did inflate. So that's not good. This next slime, you guys, I don't really like it, but yeah, it is just a random slime that I had. That I had. And I just mixed basically random things in it. So like I have Orbeez in here. I have these tiny pixel thingies. Oh, that's gone. 
Yeah, that is that one. Not really going to play it there because I don't really like it. This next slime is my favorite slime in here. It is a cloud slime and it actually drizzles. Yeah, that is that one. I don't know if you guys can hear, but if you have headphones, put them on and you can hear it. Ready? And blast your volume. Ready? I don't know if you guys can hear it, but that sounds so satisfying. And last, but certainly not least, we have this slime. And it is another jelly slime. And I also mix random things in here. And it's so random that we even have like Christmas things in here. Like, <laughs> I so basically, the story behind this slime is, so one day, I was watching YouTube because I was watching um, one of my favorite family YouTubers, Familia Diamond. <laughs> I was watching them and then, um, you know that thing where you scroll down and then you see all like the video selections that you can also watch? I seen one of Mixing Random Things into Slime by um, Jillian Bauer, I think it is. I think that's how you say it. Um, and she was mixing random things adding too much things into slime and I got that idea but yeah those are basically all my slimes I'm not going to do all of my slimes because this video will be like an hour if I did but yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications so you get notified every single time I post a brand new video Oh, that was a mouthful. Most of the video will be right here on the screen. And it is going to be... Okay, guys, so I thought of the emoji of the day. It will be right here on the screen. And it is going to be a purple heart. But, yeah, it will be right here on the screen. So make sure you comment that down below. A purple heart. So I know that you watched the entire video. And don't skip. I see you. But, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And, yeah, bye, guys. Love you. Mwah.